Remove the eye track tray and viscoelastic from their packaging and place in the sterile field. Separate and discard the original viscoelastic syringe from the ampule. Remove the tray lid and the viscoinjector cover. Remove the red cap and unscrew the viscoinjector body. Place the viscoelastic ampule seal side first into the viscoinjector and push until it is punctured by the internal spike. Reassemble the viscoinjector and advance until viscoelastic aggresses from the tip. Unwind the black fiber optic cable, ensuring that the lines are not tangled or knotted, and lay to the side of the tray. Grasp the blue hub and carefully slide the protective sleeve off of the microcatheter. Connect the lure lock of the infusion line to the viscoinjector. Prime the microcatheter by turning the knob at least six full rotations until viscoelastic flows from the tip. Alternatively, the protective sleeve can be left in place during priming. As the eye track is passed on the surgical field, the blue hub is first secured to the patient's brow or cheek. A steri strip on the assistant's glove can expedite this maneuver. The viscoinjector is then laid either on the mail stand or in the pouch of the phaco emulsifier or the patient drape. A second stereo strip can then be placed to secure the fiber optic cable and infusion line. The fiber optic connector is then passed off and the circulator snaps it into the black ring of the eye lumen. The upper switch turns the eye lumen on and the lower switch changes the illumination between steady and blinking. 